always have a backup plan because still for the moment it's unlikely we're going to have huge numbers of people going into space but definitely go for it um, definitely enjoy now doing all sorts of things um, because we need multi-skilled astronauts especially when we think about going to mars going to the moon we need people to be able to have backup skills for somebody else's skills um, so the more variety of skills and experience people have in life the more that you enjoy playing sport with a number of different types of people for instance the more you enjoy your musical instruments your foreign languages as well as your science or engineering, it's all going to come in useful. So, so enjoy life, make good use of it, and have fun. I would love to go back into space. I think most astronauts would. Um, those that have said no have been typically those who've been into space numerous times on long duration missions. So, you know, within days of Scott Kelly's last mission, he said, nope, that's it, I'm retiring, I've had enough. Because I think they do tend to miss their families and friends, really. But, you know, a short space mission, oh, I'd love to go back, I really would. Um, going back to Mars, oh, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> I would like to return to Earth, most definitely. But um, yes, to go to the moon, to go to Mars, um, just, just to be able to discover things um, and to really work with teams of people. Um, and I think we, people on Mars are really going to bond very closely and have to rely on each other and, and be multi-skilled. And you know, that's what I've loved about life, is that I've been able to use different facets, different skills to, to do really in the end, um, to, I suppose, to make my career the way it has gone. So thinking back to my original space mission, it was only eight days and it wasn't really time to miss anything from Earth. So I can't really speak, if you like, from experience to say, oh, I really missed such and such. I know it's family and friends that the astronauts say they do miss a lot after they've been away from Earth for a while. So I suppose it would definitely be something where I could communicate. Um, and I think photographs, video footage, um, something that is as live as absolutely possible. And of course, we know if we go to Mars, it could take ooh, three minutes, it could take 22 minutes for um, for radio signals, images to get to and from um, to, between Earth and Mars. So it's not going to be terribly live, but um, as live as absolutely possible, I think that's what I'd like to have. And, and that would be just com conversations with family and with friends. So the actual couch is so comfortable. They, they design it um, with a kind of a, 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 an, inner, an inner layer that can be removed. And that inner layer is fitted to, to each individual astronaut. And we actually lie back in a kind of a mould of Plaster of Paris as it sets around us. And if you've ever had your hand in Plaster of Paris as it's setting, you know how warm it gets. So it's a very, very hot experience lying back in this Plaster of Paris. But nonetheless, it moulded around my back. And it had to be allowed, allowed, they had to allow an extra couple of centimetres or so of, what would you call it, growth, sort of stretch in space, because our spines do stretch, um, but it's a couple of centimetres or so, something like that. And then, of course, we shrink back when we get back, um, come back and stand up. But nonetheless, the couch is comfortable. So it's almost lying back and knees bent up. Uh, the spacesuit itself, although uncomfortable to wear to stand up in, is comfy in that kind of seated position with our shoulders a bit hunched. Um, so yes, nice and comfy. Um, a little warm in the spacesuit, but the couch itself really comfy. And then we really appreciate that, not during the launch, but coming back to land, because we get about 5G of deceleration in the atmosphere. The parachute means that as it opens, um, we swing violently side to side until it settles um, centrally around the spacecraft. And then just before the landing, we get retro rockets. <laughs> They're called soft landing rockets, but it's never a soft landing. And when we do actually land, it's always a bit of a bump. And it's actually that seat um, that, that saves us from a lot. Not just the fact that it's moulded, but there's also um, a shock absorber effect. Um, and it in increases in height by about 15 centimetres, again, just before we actually land, to give us that extra bit of um, absorption, let's say, um, just before we do hit the ground. So yeah, really appreciative of that Kazbek couch. Yeah, it saved me from a lot of injury.